I'm Matt Recker. I'm Matt Recker. I'm Matt Recker. And I'm Matt Recker. All this and Andy Rooney tonight on Cineweek. Now our feature presentation. This is Cineweek, your source for weekly movie news. James Cameron, the richest man in movies other than the guy that gets paid to keep Tom Cruise's personal life out of the media, has let slip that he has four script sequels to Avatar. Avatars 2, 3, and 4 are currently in pre-production, and it's the highest grossing movie franchise of all time, netting $2.7 billion worldwide. Cameron is likely to use a sizable chunk of that money into research into cloning Zoe Saldana so she can be in three more Avatar films, two more Star Trek films, and another Guardians of the Galaxy without coming to Dave Chappelle's syndrome. In order to prove he's a bigger marketing whore than a boardroom full of Joel Schumacher's, Michael Bay has revealed two new vehicles that will be appearing in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, if you can call it that. Surprise, surprise, they look like life-size toys. I'm sure little Billy and Susie... Oh, wait, this is 2015. I'm sure little Finn and Bella will enjoy screaming for their parents to buy these plastic hunks of crap when they hit shelves next year. What would a week be without comic book news? Refreshing, I would imagine. Anyway, Frank Miller announced this week that he's working on a sequel to The Dark Knight Returns. Well, this may be the cynic in me talking, because I actually like Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns, but a sequel made 30 years after the original is not going to exist without being influenced by Christopher Nolan's Batman movies, and maybe even that god-awful Batman vs. Superman thing that's happening. Now, Miller is also responsible for Sin City, one of my personal favorite comic book movies of all time, so maybe I should give him the benefit of the doubt here. Don't make me regret this, Miller. In theaters this week, Fast and the Furious 7. Still. It's the fifth highest grossing movie of all time, it Excuse me a second. <laughs> what you really should see, though, is the horror movie It Follows. It's an interesting and unique horror movie about an unseen force that stalks a young woman after her first sexual encounter. The plot is hard to explain without giving away too much, but suffice to say, it's kind of an interesting take on the Friday the 13th formula that doesn't really use jump scares to unnerve you. Uh, it's not the best horror movie I've seen this year, but it's not bad. Check it out. New on DVD and Blu-ray this week, Paul Thomas Anderson's Inherent Vice. Mark Wahlberg in The Gambler, Paddington, and the 357th release of Spaceballs. Yeah, not a great week. My personal recommendation is Jaws 2 on VHS. It's not available in stores, but if you come over to my place, I'll let you borrow it. That's all for Cineweek. Here's Andy Rooney. You know what I hate? When video podcasts don't know how to end, so they resort to cheap gags to fill in the... T this has been Cineweek. Thanks for listening.